Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be making something that is very often requested and I know that everybody at school loves. And today I have someone here to help me out, my sous chef here, Liliana. Hi. She loves these as well and she asked that I make them too. So today we're going to be making chocolate chunk scones. For this recipe, you will need all-purpose flour, baking powder, butter softened to room temperature, light brown sugar, granulated sugar, salt, vanilla, eggs, and chocolate chunks. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure our dry ingredients. So we're going to get two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. So Liliana's gonna help me out with this. So remember, when you're measuring your flour, you want to have a nice even cup, just like that. You, know, you can just use a butter knife to level it up. So we're going to get our flour, and then we're also going to combine it with our baking powder as well, which is two teaspoons of this. And we're going to put this into a separate bowl, and we're just going to combine these two items, and we're going to set it aside. is going to be combining our butter with our sugar, our vanilla, and our salt. So we've got one cup of brown sugar that's going into our sand mixer. We have half a cup of white sugar that's going in. I've got one teaspoon of salt and three teaspoons of vanilla. We're gonna combine all this in here with one stick of softened butter. You can just leave it out on the cat on the counter for a couple hours to where it gets to room temperature. It's all gonna go in here. And then we're gonna whip it all together until it's nice and fluffy. Good job. Right, so now that our butter has been incorporated to our sugar, we're gonna take a spatula and scrape down the sides. That way there's nothing stuck on the side. And now we're going to add in our egg. So you're going to do it one at a time. So we're going to crack one in. And then we're going to combine it. And then we're going to do it with the second egg as well. Now that you've whipped your egg in with your sugar and butter mixture, you'll see that it turns a little bit of a lighter color and that it's nice and creamy. So now we're going to incorporate our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. So you're going to go about half a cup of flour mixture at a time into your mixer, mixing it after each addition so it's fully incorporated before you add your next half cup. You want to go ahead? Take a scoop and put it in. That's good. Spoon, spoon. There you go. Keep going. Right, and finally, now we get to add our chocolate chunks. We have a mixture of chocolate chunks and chocolate chips. You could use those either way. Um, we're gonna dump it into our dough and we're gonna mix it up. And then over here, I've got a bread pan. And what I've done is I've lined it with some parchment. I'm gonna spray the parchment with some uh, hand spray. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to put our batter into the bread pan. And we're gonna smash it down so we have kind of a square shape and then we're going to score the top with X's. So that way, after we bring them out of the freezer, so we're going to freeze this overnight. When we bring it out of the freezer, we'll know where to cut so we have nice triangular stones in the morning. So you see our dough is all formed together now. So what we're going to do is just take the dough ball, put it into our sprayed bread pan, We're gonna to wanna to press it down so it's in all the corners so we have a nice rectangular shape. And then we're gonna take our paring knife and we're gonna score across the top so we know where to cut. We have one. Two, three X's for the morning. All right, 
now we've taken our dough out of the freezer. It's been in there overnight. So all we're gonna do is just remove it. And now we're going to cut it into our triangles. So you can see where we've already scored it, we're just going to cut along those lines. out and we've spread them out with a decent amount of space between each one because these are going to spread a little bit in the oven we don't want to have one big giant massive scone so I've sprayed this down we're gonna put it in our oven at 375 which is already preheated for about 15 minutes all right so our scones have come out of the oven so what we're going to do is we're going to transfer them from the hot pan to a cooling rack because if they sit on this hot pan, they'll continue to cook. We don't want that. Right now, they're just done enough, like everybody likes, where it's still kind of gooey on the inside. So, thanks for joining us. Be sure to like us on Instagram, Facebook, and on our YouTube page. Bye.